A vigil in Salt Lake City tonight in support of the founder of a group pushing for the ordination of women in the LDS Church. That woman now faces disciplinary action from the church. News specialist Sam Penrod is live tonight with more as this story continues to unfold. Sam, good evening. Well, Rich, good evening. Uh, supporters of Kate Kelly, about 350 of them, gathered here tonight at the same time that a disciplinary council was getting underway for her in Virginia. Now, Kelly recently moved here to Utah and opted not to be at the meeting in person. Instead, she responded in writing to the local leaders there. And we're told that Kelly's bishop has not made a final decision and that he wants to, quote, prayerfully consider the matter overnight. I will not be silent for my daughter, Rosie. One by one, women who joined with Kate Kelly gather together outside of the LDS Church Office Building, an event timed with a disciplinary council for Kelly involving her role in promoting the ordination of women that could result in her excommunication from the church. I don't fit under the definition of apostasy. I'm a faithful, active Mormon woman. I went to church this morning, and I have always been active. I served a mission for the church. Kelly says more than 1,000 people submitted letters of support to the bishopric holding the disciplinary council, which will consider Kelly's actions of promoting her personal beliefs as church doctrine including pushing for admittance to the church's general conference priesthood meeting. Tonight, a church spokesperson responded to Sunday night's events. Tonight, we're praying for those who must make these difficult, very personal decisions. And we're also praying for those whose choices may place them outside our congregation. Despite warnings in recent weeks from her church leaders in Virginia, Kelly has not backed away from her organization, Ordained Women. It's not that that's something that I won't do. It's something that I can't do. I cannot continue to participate in the church living a lie and pretending like I don't have these thoughts and feelings. And so I just can't go to church every Sunday not being able to really say what I think and feel. Church officials have stated it becomes a concern when individuals recruit others to push for changes in church doctrine. In the church, we want all to feel welcome and safe and valued. And there is room for questions, but how we ask is just as important as what we ask. Kelly's bishop uh, told her via email tonight that he will notify her of the decision likely tomorrow. All right, Sam, this uh, issue obviously sparking a lot of emotions. Thanks for keeping track of that for us. And more will be available tomorrow as the situation continues to unfold.